Let's do a quick uh, shop status report. Uh, the gold and white, or white and gold, a 64 Triumph went, went home yesterday and was replaced by this 66. Uh, interesting difference between the two bikes. The uh, white and gold one was absolutely beautifully restored. And this one is 100% original. Original paint everything, he says. Um, that's cool. Uh, let's do a walk around. And, and it's a runner. This, this bike is actually a runner. He just wants it tuned up, checked over, things like that. Um, still using the original rectifier and the Zener diode is probably up at the front or somewhere. Uh, single carb TR6. Nicely put together. Walking around. Um, the wear on the front fender. I'll check the tire date. And um, it's a nice bike. Somebody's already replaced the old ignition switch with a newer style, like I just did on the gold and white one. They've got it 90 degrees different. I'm gonna put it so that up, so that this is off. And a quarter turn to the right, I'll turn it on, I'll rotate, rotate that, just so that it's the same as the other one. Ah. Uh, Got that ratchet fratcha low hanging mirror that I don't like. Got a ding in the uh, gas tank. Alone. That's character. That's a character ding. Okay, so in the shop, my two bikes are still over there, sitting there covered, not doing anything. The um, This Norton is waiting on the return of the timing cover, and we'll put that together and get it running. And also the uh, fancy dancy um, fuel gauge assembly, I'll install that figured that out so that we'll install that this bike is still ready to be picked up it was supposed to be picked up and then my schedule screwed up so I had to cancel that so I've still got this probably till next week and then this is the 75 that's out for the head modifications and it's still out for the head modifications as soon as I get the head back I'll put it together so we've got two Nortons that are you know, waiting on one last effort to get them ready to go so I've got room for another bike. If anybody out there is waiting for a space, I can slip one more here where the visitor chair is. And uh, that's the status of the shop. Now this one's gonna be interesting because it's still running points. And uh, and it's a runner. So the guy says, starts on first kick. Uh, that's kind of hard to argue with and you know justify putting in a um, solid state ignition system, electronic. I'm gonna try because you know me, I, I like electronic ignition. And uh, I don't see a Zener diode, which is interesting. This might be an early six volt system. But that's just strange. Um, Zener's gotta be around here somewhere. Huh. I'm gonna have to find out if that's a six volt battery. Normally Zener's are up front under the headlight. Okay, so I'll figure that out and decide what to do with it. So anyway, that's the status of the shop. It's almost eight o'clock and uh, Kevin should be here shortly. We'll, what we're gonna do, uh, it's an opportunity for us to start the bike and then strobe the ignition timing. And, oh good, it's got a, uh, no it doesn't, it has a solid, solid primary. So I have to take the primary cover off in order to strobe check the ignition dog on it. Well, that's what I was going to do. I, I just, we may take that cover off just to change the, um, the oil and clean out any accumulated uh, crud and then go ahead and uh, set the ignition with a strobe light just to see what it's like. Kevin, I don't think Kevin's ever seen a um, timing mark bounce around uh, while checking um, points ignition system. It'll be interesting. I think we might go ahead and do that. So, waiting for Kevin, and we will start on the bike. And it is right now, at this point in time. Ah. Five before eight. Okay. That's the status of the shop. All right, it's 
started up, took a dozen or so kicks. We uh, cleaned the pilot jet. The pilot jet was all clogged up. Once we did that, we got it started. It's idling now. Sounds good. Good oil for it, by the way. A little stumble coming off of idle. the um, pilot air screw just a little bit. I turned it out a couple of turns, maybe a turn and a half. Uh, the, uh, these older carburetors are different than the concentric. They came out to get some bit started. It's breathing easier. Watch the uh, throttle here as I come off of, off of idle. Did you, know, did you see the difference when it came off of idle? This first eighth of a turn right here, this is what's controlled by the pilot jet and the pilot air screw. You, when, you need to be able to transition from idle to fast very smoothly with no hesitation right here. So just a little bit of adjustment on the idle screw, air screw adjustment, and um, boy, the bike sounds good. Uh, we're just going to go over the bike right now and look at the tire dates and things like that. Um, I basically contact the client and said, what do you want us to do now? Okay, we just checked out the uh, whole electrical system. We have tail light, brake light, headlight, high beam, low beam, instrument lights, and the little indicator lights up here. Now, we replaced the indicator lights. They were both burned out, so we put new little LED lights in there. We replaced the pilot light because that was burned out. And other than that, everything works. So go ahead and uh, ignition on. Okay, there's your ignition on light right there. Uh, turn it one more click for... There you go. Now we have headlight. Give me high beam, low beam. There's your high beam, low beam. Don't, don't, turn it on. Look at the difference in those lights when you put a little LED bulb in them. Well, aren't they gorgeous? Then we have the lights on in the instruments here. You got high beam, low beam. We did that. Hit the horn. Oh, no, it's over there. Yeah. Okay, we have a horn. And down here, we're going to, we have a tail light and brake light. Okay, so everything electrical works. And the bike starts and runs. We're going to take it outside and do a test ride. Oh, I know one, one other thing. I want to show them this spark plug. No. Um, we pulled the plugs out and cleaned them, and, and they're N5s rather than n 3s so I decided I'd compare them visually to an N3. And so I took out a brand new N3 out of my, my spares and looked at it and said, something, that just doesn't look right. So let me zoom in here. And right out of the box, that's what came out. The electrode is broken off. Brand new plug right out of the box electrode gone side electrode gone isn't that something uh, just uh you know always visually check everything before you use it anyway the physical differences between an n3 and an n5 uh, are such so slight that i couldn't see them and uh, i guess it would take a better engineer with more precise measuring equipment but anyway the ones in the bike were very nice good condition we cleaned them up and put them back so basically um we're ready for a test ride all right, we've uh, tickled the carburetors. They're very happy. We're going to do a start here. And the 
can't beat that. This is Kevin's K Whacker. Isn't that a pretty thing? I swear that that out Harley is a Harley. What a pretty bike. And here he comes under his own power. <laughs> Kill switch works good. Yep. She's a champ. Just takes off great. Um, shifts smoothly. Brakes work just fine. She's a champ. Uh, speedometer doesn't work, but other than that, everything is good. All right, well, let's go in and take a look at the speedo. And um, wow. Yeah, exactly. Good test ride. Great. These are fun. Okay, at this point, the bike starts, runs, sounds great. Oils all check out good. Um, fix the speedometer. Put a couple of new light bulbs into the um, instrument lights up here, these, these guys and the pilot. The bike is throwing a charge when we rev it up. Speedo works, tack works, horn works, kill button works. Uh, I see no, no reason to do anything else to this bike. You know, you know me and my uh, electronic ignition that I love so much, but this bike runs too nicely to justify it. You know me and my solid state igni um, uh, rectifier regulator, but it's throwing a really good charge here, so I can't justify that. Um, my opinion is that we uh, give it back to the client. Kevin, what do you think? I concur. Everything works. She runs like a champ. She stops. I mean, what else do you want? Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to call it good. And uh, what an interesting experience.